a lot of people are concerned today because there is resistance with soybean aphids. Now, this isn't everywhere. Quite frankly, on our own farm, we're still using the cheap pyrethroids and we're getting by. One of the reasons why I think this has happened is because a lot of people have waited to spray until they have so many bugs out there, getting 100% control is almost impossible. On our farm with aphids, we usually spray when we have about 20 aphids per plant. For us, we believe that's the economic threshold at least at around the R2 or R3 stages. In other words, when the beans are flowering, just starting to pod, that's kind of the time that we like to usually go out and spray a fungicide. We throw the insecticide in. We don't have the extra cost for the trip because we're already out there spraying the fungicide. We throw the insecticide in. It still works pretty well for us. But if you're having this aphid resistance issue, then I would suggest switching over to something like Renestra or Ridgeback something that has a different mode of action. You could even go back to old chlorpyrifos. That works pretty well. So got a number of options there. I just say there are lots of insecticides out there, but unfortunately many of them cost $7, $10 an acre, and some even more than that. I like the $2 option. That cheap pyrethroid is awesome, so we're gonna keep using that as long as we can.